What's the worst sex ed advice you received at school? The sex ed I had in school consisted entirely of a 20 minute video in 3rd or 4th grade that basically amounted to sometimes you'll pee your pants when you're asleep, but it's not pee. This is normal, and in health class we had a unit on STDs. Not like how to prevent. Treat them. But wow. This sucks. Look at all those rashes and hives you can get. So I'd say the worst sex ed advice I received at school was in slasher. Yeah. The sex ed I got at school was basically look at these horrific pictures of STDs. The only way to not get them is to not have sex. Apostrophe. Me too. Just add in a victim blaming cautionary tale about a girl getting raped and then being punished with an STD. Oh. I got that story in church. Also it was the girl's fault for not dressing modestly. I got it from my middle school health textbook. In my case she was at fault for inviting her boyfriend over and not saying no correctly. The passage included a discussion question, where we were supposed to talk about what the girl could have done differently. This isn't advice, but my sex ed teacher told us, ejaculate is the whitest substance on earth. Edit, wow. This really blew up, so I'll add some more detail. She was a relatively young teacher. I did argue with her, but she just told me to stop being difficult. I insisted she was wrong, but she said the textbook knew more than me, but being teenage boy at the time, I knew a thing or two about what ejaculate looks like. Your sex ed teacher's cum looks like whiteout. Time to use cum as whiteout. We were told that a wet dream produced an amount of fluid tantamount to wetting the bed. They didn't even tell us what fluid it was. Okay so I've always been confused by this. Are wet dreams orgasmic every time? You get to wake up to coming in your pants? Or is it different? And it's like you wake up going huh? That's not jizz. What is that? And it's like the same thing as when girls squirt. And it's not quite pee. But something else? I'm so sorry this sounds so dumb. But I have questions. And I want answers. I used to have wet dreams before I discovered masturbation. Yeah. Theorgasmic. But I didn't wake up. I slept straight through. Usually I would have a very vivid sex dream. I put sex in quotes because I didn't quite know the mechanics of sex, but these dreams were clearly sexual in nature. Anyway, I'd wake up in the morning and find some goo in my shorts. I didn't quite know exactly what it was, but I knew it was connected. I don't know why in sex ed they told us about semen. Told us to expect some fluid from wet dreams, but didn't tell us specifically that the wet dream fluid was semen. No idea why that was a bridge too far. I only had wet dreams maybe 2-3 to three times in my life. It was only after an orgasm that I woke up. This was before I knew the mechanics of sex. So I didn't really know the why or how of it. All I knew was that it was good. And every time I had the same dream, I was in a boxing ring completely nude and two women took turns boxing my D like a speed bag. I don't know why or what that says about me. It was what it was I guess. I myself distinctly remember two times. Once it was the 50 foot woman from the movie of said name. A movie old, when I saw it. I fell into her cleavage and that did it. The second was a woman I knew in life picked me up and did a standing blowjob. I don't think I could come up with those if I tried as an adult. I had a gym teacher say it's impossible to have sex with a woman if she didn't want to because the hole closes up if she doesn't want to. He went to jail for guess what? Tax fraud. That was my guess. I wonder where he hid all the money. Somewhere that can't be opened. The STD talk during my middle school's health class comprised of a vague video showing a paintbrush dipping into various paints. One after another. Until there was a messy smear of colors everywhere. The advice was. Verbatim. Girls. Don't let other people's paint get anywhere near you. Art class afterwards was real fun though. My school did this with skittles. They gave each person a bunch of skittles of one color. Then you were supposed to shake hands with 5 other kids and swap one skittle when you did. So you end up with skittles of various colors. Then at the end. They said handshaking was sex. And the skittles are STDs. Yellow is HIV. Red is gonorrhea. ETC. They gave each skittle a disease. Look how many STDs you have after having sex 5 times. Then we all ate the skittles. Not sure where that fit into the mediocre analogy. 
The kid who started with all yellow goes home saying Mr. Green gave me HIV today. Mr. Green was my middle school gym teacher. And the gym teachers were also the sex ed teachers. If you have sex, you will get gonorrhea. And you will die. Alright. Now everybody take some rubbers. Mean Girls is great. You go. Glen Coco. As a guy, the only thing I learned from sex ed, and this was for all the boys to learn, once the girls were separated, was that pregnancy can happen, and this what an anatomically correct pee is. An anatomically correct penis? Were they trying to shame some poor kid? If you ask any questions I'm gonna assume your pee is wrong. I'm looking at you. Sarah. Apostrophe. Sarah can't stop kicking with her third leg. It's just a 14 inch clitoris. Calm down. Stop wincing. When I was home shawled my mom told me that masturbating caused cancer because you'd be too aggressive to your bullsack due to the motion. I feel bad for my father now. That's ironic because it actually helps to prevent prostate cancer. Vertical bar cancer free for 90 years vertical bar. Keep fapping. You fabulous nonagenarian. You. It was unsolicited sex advice from a psych tar. Don't go into dark alleys because you will end up having sex in there. With who? No freaking idea. Maybe the weird alley sex goblins. M24 and when I was a freshman in high school my health teacher legit told us that women could get pregnant by just sleeping naked next to a man. She told us of her best friend who never had sex but kissed and hugged a man naked and got pregnant. I mentioned my age because that kind of badass crazy take on sex had seemed outdated to us and it was relatively recent. It was a public school 2 BTW. Yeah. She would get naked just to kiss and hug. Seems like a legit story. Wait you don't? Welp that explains all the court summons and retraining orders. The more you know. We expected better of an elementary teacher. This is the only reason I stay on this website. I knew this genius at school from the football team who I once heard saying yes oh. If you finish inside a girl try your hardest to pee in her. The acidity of pee will kill the sperm fortunately we were in anatomy class and my teacher her did too. She gave us a quick and actual sex ed class right there and then. Sounds like an episode of South Park. You just slap her titties around. Stick it inside her. And pee Cartman. Unless you don't want her to get pregnant then you pull it out and pee on her leg. My teacher was trying to teach us about chromosomes and chromosome defects so like some girls can be born instead of 2 X chromes they born with 3 X chromes and they are called super females. So she looked up 30th super females and just like porn showed for the whole class to see. I basically had the same sex that they gave in mean girls. The whole condoms don't work. Pills don't guarantee 100%. So if you have sex, you will get pregnant. Apostrophe. If you have sex, you'll get pregnant and die. You obviously didn't go to Catholic school. At Catholic school it's get pregnant, die, and burn in hell. And that's concentrated evil coming out the back of you. I heard Catholic girls are okay with concentrated evil coming in the back of them. Don't have sex or your pee will fall off. Flex tape fixes everything. To show you the power of flex tape, I sawed this D in half. Damn it now my D hurts. Your D hurts. That sex isn't supposed to end until the ladies boobs start whistling. This sounds like something your older brother would come up with and tell you to F with you. I convinced my sister the lanky wetlands birds like cranes and egrets gave live birth in the air and the chicks spread their wings in the free fall to dry them of placental fluid and that is why she has never seen a nest. Well, may I love how specific this is. They just come out completely independent for life. On a somewhat similar note, there are types of fish that give live births rather than laying eggs. I remember sitting and watching the fish tank once when I was a kid and literally the baby just flew out of the mom while she was swimming around and then went around swimming like a whole a functional fish, eating flakes and everything. Blew my mind. Edit, live bearing fish for anyone who's interested. Includes the endless livabra, guppy, platy, and molly. Some can actually interbreed with each other and create hybrids. Fact, if you have males and females, you will have millions of babies in no time. Lol the lie developed from a very specific event. We were driving down a freeway that borders some wetlands area that is populated with great herons and snowy egrets. 
My little sister is in the back seat looking out the window and sees one on the side of the freeway and asks me why she has never seen a nest. Me, being an asshole older brother who would leverage her absolute trust in my word, spins this bulls up on the spot. She must have been around 9 years old. And I added enough detail to make it plausible when checked against her 5th ice grade knowledge of local biology. I mentioned that if they do not spread their wings and fly, that was simply natural selection. And if they survived anyway, they would have been a burden to the parents since their immobility put the rest of the family at risk from predators. She ate it up. Whomever was driving, mom or dad, just let this happen. I forgot about it almost immediately after saying it and didn't remember until she was like 15 telling a friend the same fact. I overheard and just started dying of laughter at which point she concurrently saw the humor, but was pissed because she had been using that s as a fun fact with her friends for years 